In this video, we will talk about AWS route tables. A route table contains a set of rules called routes that are used to determine where network traffic from your subnet or gateway is directed. When you create a VPC, AWS will automatically create a special main route table. It controls the routing for all subnets that are not explicitly associated with any other route table. Route table consists of two columns. The first column is the destination, which is the range of IP addresses where you want traffic to go. For example, a VPC network with the 192.168.00/16 seeder. The second column is a target, which is a gateway, network interface, or connection through which to send the destination traffic. For example, it can be an internet gateway, the peering connection, or local, as in this example. That means that the traffic will not leave your VPC. In the following demo, we will create with Terraform two types of routing tables. The first one is the public route table. You have the VPC, you created an internet gateway and attach it to your VPC. Now you need to create a route table with the default route to internet gateway. The first route is inherited from the main route table. The second destination is covering all IP addresses unless they match more specific route on the top. Under the target, we will have the internet gateway ID. The second type is the private route table. In this example, you have the VPC, internet gateway, and you set up a NAT gateway in the public subnet. Same with this route. The first route is inherited from the main route table, but in this case, you specify that default route, all IP addresses, to target NAT gateway ID. In the last example, I want to show you how you would set up a VPC peering. You have two VPCs. You created a peering connection between them. Now you need to configure routing table. The first VPC route table uh, will look like this. Under the destination, you would put seeder of your connected VPC. In this case, it's 10.0.0.0.16. And under the target, you would put a peering connection ID. All right, so in the previous videos, we created the VPC, we created internet gateway, subnets, uh, NAT gateways. And in this video, we're gonna go ahead and create the uh, three routing tables. All right, let's get started. Okay, let's go to our code and um, Let's take a look what we have by now. We have the Elastic IP addresses, Internet NAT getaways, NAT getaways, provider, subnets, and VPC itself. Uh, let's get started by uh, creating a new file. We're going to call it routingtable.tf. And let me close this. And let's create our first routing table. So it's gonna be public route table. So just to refresh, we're gonna create three uh, routing tables. One public route table with a default route to internet gateway and two uh, private route tables, two different NAT gateways. All right, so to create the, the first public route table, we need to use this particular resource, AWS uh, route table. And the first argument is the VPC ID, and this will come from the VPC, and this will come from the VPC um, resource that we used before. Then we need to define the first route will be inherited from the main route table, but the second route it's going to be default route 0000, zero slash zero all IP addresses to uh, and we direct the traffic to the internet gateway in this case, and we're going to call it give it attack public. And that's pretty much it for this particular route table. Now let's create two additional uh, routing tables. So let's uh, define the first private route table, the same VPC ID. Well, the same default route, but different target. In this case, we're gonna target the AWS NAT gateway and gateway one. So this will come from uh, NAT gateways 
as you remember, we created two um, NAT gateways and placed them in different availability zones. So that means if something happens with one AZ, we still have the, the second redundant the, uh, NAT gateway. All right, so this is the gateway one and this is gateway two. And we're gonna use them to create route tables. Okay, so this is gonna be the first uh, private route table and we will target uh, to not gateway one and give it a tag private one. And the second and final route table, we're gonna call it private two, same VPC ID, uh, default route. And in this case, we're gonna direct traffic to not gateway two in different AZ. And we're gonna give it a name private two. All right, so we defined three uh, routing tables and now we need to associate those routing tables with the um, subnets. So we created the subnets in previous videos. We created four subnets. We created two public subnets and two private subnets in two different availability zones. Now let's create another file. We're gonna call it route table association. .cf. And here let's define the first resource. All right, so it's gonna be AWS route table association and public one. This is the name of this particular resource. And we need to define two arguments. The first argument is the subnet ID. And we're gonna use the AWS uh, AWS subnet public one ID. This comes from the our subnets. Public one will come from this resource, AWS public one. All right, and then we need to use the route table ID. And this is AWS route table. And we have only one single public route table. So we're gonna use AWS route table public. And this comes from the route table that we just created here. All right, and now let's define three more uh, sessions because we have, uh, well, four subnets total. So uh, here, this is we just created, and this is the second association with the second public uh, subnet, and we're gonna use the same route table, same public route table. But in case of the private um, route tables, we have two different private tables. And we're gonna take uh, one, the first private subnet and associate it with the, uh, the first private route table with the default route to the first NAT gateway. And for the second um, association, we're gonna use the second subnet and use the second NAT gateway. All right, so now let's go to the terminal and type Terraform FMT to format code. And let's, uh, and let's run the Terraform apply right away. Okay, and let's type yes. And it's gonna create seven resources. And it should be very quick. All right, so it's created. And let's go and check in AdWords console what we have. Uh, let's go to the VPC. And let's navigate to the route tables. And we can see that we have four total routing tables. The first one, well, the last one is the main route table. That is, uh, you, can uh, you can identify the main by this column where it says yes. And we created those three route tables, the public and two private. And also we associated them with the, our subnets. So we have the we have the four subnets. And for example, let's take a look on the first private subnet. And let me open it up. And under the route table, we can see that the route table private one. And we can see that default route to the uh, one of the NAT gateways. That's all for this video. In the, in the next video, we finally will create the EKS managed Kubernetes cluster. Thanks for watching.